Hi, it's Andy Taylor from Tech Talk Radio. So you have a power supply issue. Your computer is not coming on. So what happens? Well, power supplies do go out, and we normally think of the power supply as something a little like this. This is a really good power supply, though. This is a Cooler Master 1050 watt power supply. Now, you probably don't need this for your basic computer, but if you are looking at a brand new power supply and your computer can accept it, I recommend this one because of the modular jacks in this. You can actually install just what you need cord wise so that your computer will operate. Now, we're going to take a look at a Dell Mini, and I call it, it's not really a Mini, but it is a slimline case. So don't just go out getting a completely standard power supply because you're going to be disappointed. So this is a Dell Slimline. Now, as you notice, the power supply, much, much smaller. Not like a traditional power supply you might find on many PCs, but this is what Dell puts out for it to be able to fit into this Slimline case, as you can see. Now, we've already pulled the power supply out of it, and you're thinking about doing this. It's really not as difficult as you think it may be. It will take some steps. First step, really, is to go ahead and get rid of this four screw, the three screws in the back of the unit, of course, with it unplugged. And then you're gonna find a brace that goes over this. Be able to pull this lever down here, remove the brace. Then what you're gonna to have to do is take the DVD drive and move the DVD drive forward. You'll have access to all of the wiring and cabling and you'll be able to pull them. And it's very easy, just be very gentle while you're doing it. Removal is gonna be the same as putting it in. You just do it backwards. And then the last thing you're gonna be put, putting it, I, what I would do recommend though, is putting the screws in first once you get the power supply in its area. Now to put the brace on the system or to remove it, it's very easy. There's a little slot right here. It slides right in there, okay? All right, and then you'll close it. When you close it, it'll snap into place here. And see this closes up on that and that'll lock it into position. And to remove, it's just the reverse of that. Now to access the brace to remove it though, you are gonna have to take the front of the computer off, which again, piece of cake. As you can see, the front of the computer actually is just snapped in. And while you're at it, you might wanna just clean the system out a little, but it just snaps in and to remove it, you just gently lift these and pull it apart. I wanna remind you too, a can of air, compressed air can be your best friend. It could also create your worst nightmare because what a lot of people do is they just shoot the air right into the computer, not realizing there are jumper cables, et cetera, that can come disconnected when you're cleaning out a computer. Also a fan, you never wanna spray the air directly on the fan and make it spin and go, woo, look at it spin. That's not good. So to give you an example, what we're doing is we're gonna clean this fan out with this compressed air. Put your thumb right here on the fan and hold the fan in place. To let it spin can actually dry out the bearings in the fan. So anytime you're doing that, just hold the fan down. It gets your thumb nice and cold. Here's a little tip. If while you're working with the air, you've got a pierogi sitting right next to your computer, you're gonna get dust in it. And then once it's all connected, power it up, make sure it's working. And again, this can be done seriously in about 10 minutes with the right parts. We have connection. It is working. Da da da, -da. Windows. Oh, uh-oh. Where'd it go? It was messing with us. I don't know if you're doing this. Hopefully this video helped you. Just having fun. That's why we do this.